Hi, this is Pete Lyons with Let's Play Salesforce, and today we're doing Einstein Analytics Dataflow Basics Part 4. We're going to be using the Slice Transformation to remove unwanted columns from our final data set. So I've taken the data flow that we created in part two of the video where we joined uh, opportunity and account together. And I've also joined in users so that we can see uh, our owner name. Now let's take a look at the table that that created. Now, the first half of this table is pretty useful information. We've got account industry, owner name, stage, account name, uh, amount, probability, and the opportunity name. But along the way, I picked up all these ID columns that you know are really just gonna clutter things up. Uh, I don't really need these anymore and so I want to get rid of them. Now let's take a look at how we do that. So I'm going to go to my data manager and go to data flows and recipes. I'm going to edit data flow number five and I'm going to add a slice transformation. I'm going to call it slice IDs. Now the slice transformation takes a source just like anything else, so we're going to make the source join user to opti because this is the last node before our register. Now we have two different modes, keep or drop. If we select drop, then the fields that we select will be removed from our data set. If we keep, uh, choose keep, that's going to determine which fields we preserve. So we're going to go with keep because it's a pretty short list. I'm going to keep account industry, account name, Amount, notice I'm skipping over those two ID fields. Name, owner ID, skipping it. Owner name, probability, and stage name. So then I go ahead and hit save. And if I look at the output fields, I see I got that much shorter list there. Just the stuff I want. And I need to change the source node on my register because, as we can see, it's still pointing over to join uh, user to opti. So that means it's not uh, aware that the slice is really happening. So we just got to change the source node, select our slice IDs. Give this guy a little room. Update our data flow. Back to the data manager. Start the data flow, go to the monitor, spam that reload. And we can see it's successful. So let's take a look at what happened. Right here, this is our slice. Notice that the count of rows don't change because we're not doing anything to rows, we're messing with columns. So now we can take a look at the data set that it created. Now this is from the previous, uh, this has not been refreshed, so just need to close and reopen. Back to table mode. And uh, look at that. These are literally all the columns we have now. All of those unsightly IDs are gone, and we have a much cleaner data set for our users to explore. Now, I do want to point out that this is not the only way to control what columns are exposed to the user. Uh, we have data set fields uh, right here, which allows us to alter the XMD. So, for example, by clicking this caret, if I wanted, I could hide the account industry field from the UI. The user would not be able to click on it, but the column would still exist, so I could call it directly through the JSON. The benefit of using the slice transformation over this feature is that it's actually removed from the table itself. So if you're doing a lot of uh, complex transformations in your data flow and your tables start to get wide, you're going to notice that um, augments, especially with high data volume and computes, are going to start to take a long time. So the slice transformation can be used to reduce the width of your uh, data table to allow for increased uh, data flow performance if you don't actually need those fields later. If you do think that you might need them or you're not suffering from performance issues, the hide uh, feature within data sets fields uh, is probably a lot easier to use. So that's all for today. A uh, pretty simple uh, video for a pretty simple concept. Um, the slice transformation also has uh, really good uh, applications for removing relationship paths, uh, as well as allowing you to reuse field names that existed on uh, the table to begin with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, uh, you know, make suggestions, endorse me for Stubborn Determination on LinkedIn, and as always, thanks for watching.